Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to add some more pages into our uh, mini album that we're making. We're using the swatch book version 2. This is a new printable in my Etsy shop. There's version 1 and there's version 2. Version 2 is taller, version 1 is smaller. Like this is this is version 1. It's just a little bit smaller and the reason I made these was because of these type of situations where we had a swatch book where we could go flip through quickly of what we got and we can say oh well this will work and oh this looks good and I like this paper with this and it's mostly for digitals um, I guess you could add swatches of other things like fabric and whatnot but anyway I'll have it linked down below in the description box and there's also a video uh, an intro video for the swatch book if you want to check that out I'll put that link uh, up there in the cards and down below this is the my Sweet Paper Collection by Prima. This is the paper collection we're using. And I have a playlist also for this album, beginning to end, start to finish. If you would like to watch it, it's not finished yet because I'm still recording it, but I have a playlist for it and I'll link that up here and down below. If you click that, you can follow step by step and you can go in order. Uh, a lot of people don't even know about playlists, but I try to do that for every album that I make. And there's also a special Amazon list for this album. So the last video we did this. We did this page set up so we're doing kind of the same but different except this time we're going to do it by fin so it's going to be fin 1 and fin 4 are the same, fin 2 and fin 5 are the same but different because you can see they're the same but different and then fin 3 and fin 6 are going to be the same setup just different papers. Okay, so if you want to see this last video, it's in that playlist. Okay, all right, so we are going to skip the back side of this fin for now, and we're going to go to the second fin. So we're going to do the second fin, and why does that have a score mark on it? That's a little strange. Must have been an accident. <laughs> um, we're going to skip the back side of this fin. We're going to do the second fin and the fourth or no, fifth fin. <laughs> so I've already prepped as much as I can. And, oh, did I already say we, we, we're going to come back to the back side of this fin later on down the road? We're going to kind of skip around a little bit in this album. And I hope that's okay. So these are the templates that are available at my Etsy shop. And I've already printed off and cut and prepared the two pages. So these were the two pattern papers that I picked. Let me show you how I cut them out. So this one has the lady on it and I cut it out like this. I'm pretty sure it might be this way. Um, and then obviously I've, I've trimmed it all the way out. So I cut it off with the three and a half on top. So I cut it to eight and a half tall and then I cut it to 11 width. And I've been not cutting off these strips because um, I've been using those as part of like like a tag topper or something um, in this album. So I just want to point that out. So when I printed it out, if it has a direction, you want to make sure you keep the tab that's on that makes it to where the direction, if it's up and down, the tab is on the left. Whatever paper you pick. Same with this paper, since it has a direction, the tab that I kept is on the left side and I've already put tape on those, both of those. But this piece here, it has the pink and white polka dot on the back side, same thing. It was like this. Yep, just like this or something like this. Yes. So I cut it to eight and a half and then to 11. So I'm gonna put these scraps in my crafty companion and crafty tray and then I'll put these up over here so I've got both of these prepared so this was page 11 so I used the plain just the total plain plain and I printed it onto one side and then I inked the other side so we've got something that looks like this they're both the same just inked on both sides so I think that that might be all we need for this exact moment so they're going to go in the book like this. So this part, well, I'll show you really quick. We're not going to attach it in just yet, but let me show you really quickly. So it's going to go on the second fin. <laughs> it's going to go on the back side of this fin. 
And I think what I'll do is I'm going to ink the top of that really fast because we're going to have to mat that. Um, so it's going to go here like this. The interactive element that's going to go on top is this. This is the, oh, by the way, here's the, the fin that I cut off. I'm keeping those too because I might use this to mat what's going to show when it's white. The white part that's showing when, on the fin. All right, so I've already cut one of these out, but I wanted to show you what I did. Um, what I did. So we printed these out. This was done in the prep video. This is on 80 pound cardstock. This is in the scrap journal. This is in the uh, this and that's a PDF. So on the back side of this, I printed off one of the scripty papers. So this is one of the vintage scripty papers that we're using in this album. And I just printed it onto the back side of the whole sheet. So the reason I did that is I scored here like this, right? And then this is going to be a flip and a tuck. It's going to do both things on the front. So these things here, I'm just going to put aside, but now they have uh, something printed on the back side as well. So we could use them as loose embellishments or we can use them as like a chunk of, you know, um, embellishments or inserts or something like that. Okay. So I'm going to put these aside for right now and I'm going to cut this out and ink it up, score it, ink it up off camera and then I will be right back. I'm just going to separate this. Also, I'm going to embellish these, the fronts of these and I think I've already got all my stuff, all my goodies picked out uh, about what I want to do. Keeping it sort of simple but sort of not. So we'll see. Okay. So one of them is going to have this dark green. This is from the embellishment pack. And it's also going to have a label. This is one of the labels from the this and that. No. Yeah. This and that scrap journal. This is, I just picked like the, the reddish pinkish color. So we're going to have a label here somewhere around there. And I wanted to use this on the cover here, but it was too samey samey. So I just picked another one of the journaling cards or not journaling cards, another one of the ephemera pieces from the embellishment pack. And I decided to use that like as a border, right? I think that's cute. That works. And then I could maybe do something like this. Let's see. Let's see how that looks really quick. Right? You wouldn't even know that it was um, something different. So I wonder then if I should do this. Maybe I should do it like that. So they're kind of the same. And I was also going to do a little tiny wax seal. So I'm going to assemble these two pieces just really quick. I've got my Fabri-Tac out right now because um, one of the other things I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to be needing Fabri-Tac. Or I just like it better with when I'm using certain materials. But anyway, I got my, you could use whatever glitter, whatever glitter, whatever glue that you have. You do not have to use Fabri-Tac. And also, personal note, they've changed Fabri-Tac. It did not used to smell like this. It used to be better. I don't know what they've changed on it, but whoo, that is something. It is very potent. I think these were actually printed onto sticker paper, but I think I'm just going to leave it um, because because <laughs> I don't need to I don't need to use it as a sticker right now. But I'm not going to touch this down just yet because I need to put a magnet in there. I don't need to. I just prefer to to keep everything closed. So to go like that, and then this one, did I just, did I ink this one or just that one? And I'm just going to put a little bit on the top there. And just add this down to the bottom. Trying to kind of match it up. Oh, it's not perfect, but it's okay. 
but I do want to do a little a little wax seal so I'm going to bring my candle over here and my spoon and the custom wax seal beads that we made and I think I only need that's a big chunk I think I'll do one and a half of these little chunks that we made per one so I'm gonna get another chunk right So I'm going to let that melt. Oh, and I also, while that's melting, I also have this teeny tiny little rose stamp that I'm going to use. But I've experimented before. You can use this. There's like a medium size stamp that you can find. There's the super large. Even if all you had is the really big one, you could use this with this amount of wax and it's totally fine. You don't need to go get you a special little um, a tiny, I'm not even sure where I got this actually. I'm thinking I may have got it at like Hobby Lobby years and years and years ago, but I, I can't, not 100% on that, so. But anyway, I think I'm going to put the wax right here on the rose, and almost like we are, you know, using that to keep the rose there. I just think it's cute. All right, I think it's good. And I'm just going to pour it. Right on to that spot. Well, maybe we don't need one and a half. And yeah, we don't need one and a half. So I'm just going to leave what's in there and melt another one. I don't know why I was thinking we needed one and a half, but we don't. So and that's okay. Maybe I was just, maybe I was thinking I just needed a half of one. Maybe that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Today's been weird. This is my second video today, and I'm a little distracted. My grandson is due to come any day now, so it's like everybody's on baby watch all the time. And my, my, my poor daughter-in-law, she is like ready. Look, it's bubbling up. She is so just ready. Yeah, I think I was thinking I just needed a half of one. So that's okay. Oh, that hardens up. So this is going to go here. Oh, how cute. Or should I have it up here? And I'm going to put a magnet behind here. And then um, we'll put... Trying to think, what did I do before? Was it a magnet and a magnet, or a magnet and a magnet saver? I don't remember. I think it's a magnet and a magnet saver. So we'll put the magnet saver here, and the magnet back here. That's what we'll do. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna flip both of them over. That's adorable. Get my magnets back out, and I said I was going to do a magnet save on the back of these. I think I'm going to do them over towards it this way. You know what I forgot about in the last video? I forgot about my my um, glue dots. I almost forgot about them again. I forgot I had them. I haven't, I didn't replace them with the, with the big size. Uh-oh. Do I have anything on here? Whoa. There we go. These are just like the teeny tiny ones. It was for a minute there, I thought, where did they go? Wait a minute. 
I might have just not seen them. So these are like the micro minis or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They, they all work the same. But I forgot. I forgot about them. So now I've got them back out. And I won't forget. Okay. And I'm going to glue this whole thing down so it is not going to matter. I don't have to put tape over top of it. Do I have this right? Yes. Yeah. So anyway, this fabric attack is different. And I'm just saying. Does anybody else feel like it's a little different than it used to be? I feel like it is. Yep, somebody's cutting the grass. Do you hear that? He does not know my recording schedule. I don't really have a schedule. <laughs> Just record whenever. Okay. Damn near make you sick at Fabri-Tac. The smell, they've changed it. I, I mean, they've, they've had to have changed it. There's just no way that they haven't done something to make that different. Because I've used Fabri-Tac for years. What we got going on here? Oh, the magnets were sticking together. Okay, is it going to matter? There's going to be a few layers, so it's probably, oh, but it's going to be up here, so just in case, let's make sure my magnet, is there a magnet in here, that my magnet is going the right way, so this is going to be this way. Do the same thing for this other one. This is going to be this way. Perfect. And I'm just going to take, put tape over top of these like this, and then I'm going to use more tape to protect it when we put an insert or inserts. So the insert's gonna be coming from that away. I'm just using, this is um, Scotch tape. It's acid free, but I don't I don't know if it's like a special craft tape or not. I don't think it is. All right. So then, which one's going on which book or which flip? I think this one's going on this one. And this one's going on this one. And I think I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'm gonna angle it this way. So I'm gonna take my fiber tuck. I'm going to go around three sides, leaving the one side open. And, yeah. and I'm just going to put it on there at an angle. Let that dry for a second. Yeah, I had got the Fabri-Tac online. I got it through Amazon. And I thought maybe maybe it's a knockoff or something because you know, sometimes you can get a bad product, you know. So, when I was at the store, I smelled I smelled their Fabri-Tac at um where was I at? I was at Joanne's and it smelled the same. Who goes around smelling Fabri-Tac? Apparently I do. Okay. All right, so that, that is so cute, so cute. And I was thinking about having this attached 
down to here, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. So we'll see. We may, we may change our mind. Okay, so we've got those done. I do have, I'm going to wait. I have an ins uh, insurance. I have an insert uh, already ready, raring to go for these, but we're going to let them dry. So let's go into the inside of these. I, again, used some of the printed paper. This was the scripty paper that we printed out previous. And then I printed page nine onto it. So I did it twice. And we had a leftover piece, let me show you, from the last video, but it has print on both sides, so I didn't want to use that because we could use that as an actual page. So, we can use this as an actual page too, but anyways. So what I'm going to do is, this is from the one I've already got prepared, so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to get my paper trimmer here, let me move these. paper trimmer out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the right side of this page that's all right I'm going to cut that part off because I might use that to mat those blank areas <laughs> and I'm going to separate these from each other and I'm going to put this aside with the other one because we're not going to use these in this video. And then, it's probably just easier, well, no, it's probably just easier to use my scissors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this label out. I'll show you. I'll do the label and then I'm going to cut this part out the exact same way. All right, I'm going right up next to that faux photo corner. Whoops, I don't have my garbage bowl out again. And then I'm gonna cut those little extra bits out. So I'm gonna fussy cut these out. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect, you guys. Um, right? Is that not the cutest? thing you've ever seen. I don't know why I like this so much. Um, and then I'm going to ink just so that there's no white paper showing. So I'm going to cut this other, this other photo mat out the exact same way and I'm going to ink it up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got both of these cut out and let me grab the other piece. Let me grab these. We're going to set this one aside. We're going to use this in a minute, but right now we're going to focus on this. And here Oh, almost ripped it. Here's my other one. And then here's my embellishment. So we're going to make this a little pocket. And I had to cut into, this piece was part of the ephemera pack. But I started to cut into one of the 12 by 12 cut apart sheets. So this piece right here was down here, like this. Okay, um, I've used the other pieces for other things that you'll see later on in the video. But okay, so I've got this. I'm going to use this on one piece, this on one piece, and then this one is from the ephemera pack. It says To My Sweet Butterfly. So we're going to use this on one, and then this was one of the Artie Mays butterflies, right? And then I found this in the ephemera pack. So I'm going to add that to this little butterfly. Okay. So this one's going to go over here. So this is going to be my little cluster, but this is going to be a pocket, a little, a little tuck pocket. So let me start assembling these together. Okay, let's start with the pink one here. We're going to open this one up, and then this is going to be a tuck 
right down here like this. So I'm going to take, once again, I'm going to take my fabric tuck. I'm going to be really careful, whoops, really careful not to put too much. Put some here and here and along the bottom just a little bit. I'm just going to go right there. Isn't that just so stinking cute? Okay, same for this one. I'm going to open this up now. I am covering up part of the, where this lady's going to be. I'm just there's going to be tags, and the lady to me really doesn't have anything to do with the album uh, that I'm making. So because remember I said I wasn't going to be using the ephemera that was people. So, and that's okay. If you want to, if you want to, you can put yours over here instead. It's the beauty of making your own handmade album. You get to make your decisions on what you want in your album and where you want them. All right. So there's that. And then before we do any more uh, inserts, so, and we're just going to let everything dry. We're going to flip these over like this. And we're going to take this part and we're going to fold it in half. And then we are going to tear them apart. So this happens to be directional. So the one that's upright, I'm going to put this aside with um, with this other one because is this the upright one? We're going to use this at a later date. This is actually going to be a pocket later on down the road. So I'm going to put these aside for that. And then these two that are this away, see they're exactly the same. Oh, I didn't ink this one. I think I'm going to use this as like a little side tuck. So I'm going to have to trim a little bit off, I think. So let me get my paper trimmer back up. I'm just going to put these together. They should be exactly the same. And I think I'm going to trim off. It's okay if it's not 100% perfect. Maybe I'll just do one at a time. Good grief. I'm going to trim off, I don't know how much that is, that's maybe three-fourths of an inch. And I'm going to keep these, we'll put these in the um, crafty tray, we could use that for other things. So these are going to be side tucks. So again, we're going to make another embellishment cluster to make a side tuck. So I'm going to ink that edge. So they're both like this. So I've already got my bits and pieces. There is an Artie Mays butterfly. There is another Artie Mays butterfly. And then this piece was in the ephemera pack. And then this, these three pieces were part of this paper. So if I'm not mistaken, it was like this. So I trimmed that down a little bit, and then this one was all the way at the bottom down here. This is kind of a different color. It's not really, this color really isn't anywhere else in this paper collection, but I'm using it. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Whoops, sorry about that. My husband walked in, walked in the door. I forgot what I was even saying. Okay, so we're just going to make some clusters. <laughs> so, and I think what I'm going to do, because this is what I did in my prototype. I did something like this except this was cut off straight or straight ish and then I think I tore this just to give it some layers and dimension and stuff so something like that and then I put a butterfly over top except this time I think I'm gonna do just a little different I am actually going to Oops. Yeah. 
So this one's probably going to have to be shortened as well. And I'm not concerned at all be about the writing being sideways because um, you can't see it anyway. So, oh, you can, I mean, you can just, you can see it a little bit. You can't see a lot. So I think I'm going to have to shorten this guy up to you. But I think I'm going to put a paper clip, not on this, not on this piece, but maybe under here. So if you wanted to, you could add more things in if you wanted to. All right. So I'm going to ink those pieces up. So just creating all these little bitty, um, vignettes or em embellishment clusters or, or whatever you want to call them uh, really does add a lot of charm to your album okay so i'm going to do this except i think i'm gonna grab a paper clip i think i've only got big paper clips though oh, shoot i put some in my crafty tray i did i'm gonna grab two paper clips and we'll see what it looks like Okay, I did. I found some small ones. And I do like that. I think that's cute. Okay, so put that there. And then this will be here. All right, I'm going to glue these together. This one. Okay. Then I'm just going to glue this side, I think. Like that. here. I'm going to do the same to this and then we'll let it dry. Oh, I got to add the butterfly. All right, let's add the butterflies. Put one here. I just liked the oversized look of the butterfly, you know what I mean, compared to the little card. This one might not be as oversized looking. I thought it was cute. Okay, and then, oops. I wanted to add them to the pockets, the pockets to the, to the back of this page like this. So we now have tucks. At least I think that's what I was intending. Yeah, yeah. So again, I'm gonna just add glue to this one side. I might be a little bit more generous this time. Now remember, this folds out like this. So you don't want to go over top of that, you don't want to go over top of that score. Let's do this one too. I guess we can open it up. Okay. Mm, is it right about there, I think? I may have put them on wrong. I don't know. It's okay. It's fine. I had it all planned out, but you know, things go awry sometimes. <laughs> so if it did, it did. We'll just work with it, won't we? Okay. Oh, I love that. I think that's super cute. 
All right, before we put before we make tags, let's put these in the album. Tags and inserts. So I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna do the pink one. Yeah, I'm gonna do pink in the first set of, of fins, and then I'll do the green in the second set of fins. Just to mix it up since we did it the other way around. Okay, and I'm gonna use the glue stick trick for you guys. That just gives you a minute of wiggle room. So if you don't get it on there the very first time correctly, you've still got time. So we're gonna go on the back side of this fin. Um, on the second fin, we're doing it on the back side. So let's do it this way. Flatten it out and do it this way. Okay, and we're gonna go over top of the score mark's gonna go over top of the, oops, do you see that? Did you see how much I wiggled it around? The top of the fin. So the score does not go below the top of the fin. It goes on top of the top of the fin. <laughs> I think I know what I'm saying. I might be wrong. Okay, so see how this side of the fin isn't covered, it's just white. But do you see how this side has the print on it? So we, you know, we can easily take some of those cutoff pieces that we did and cover that up if we don't put anything on this side. So we've got this and then it opens up like this. So we got a pocket, pocket, a flip, and a tuck. Perfect. So let's do the same thing on this side. Perfect. Now we can make some tags and inserts. And I've already prepped some of them. And I basically think they're the same throughout. I could be wrong. Oops. All right. Let me move these pieces. I've got, oh, and these. So these two are the, the ones that I printed off from the set of remnants tags that has the butterflies on them. And I printed off the ones that are on landscape and I backed it because these have script on them and they're upside down. The script is upside down. <laughs> so I backed it with the vintage notebook paper. So this is going to go here. This little half tag is going to go in that pocket. What do you guys think? You think that's cute? I think it is cute. I don't know what kind of pull I'm going to put on it yet, uh, but that's going to go there. So we'll, we'll do that together in a second. And then these other ones. So these two tags are from this page, right? And then we've got uh, these left over. So I've already cut out one sheet. So they are backed in the foiled, the coffee stained paper that's been foiled. So we'll do these together too. So these are gonna go, one's gonna go here, like that. And I, I don't know what kind of pull I'm gonna put. And then this other little tag, I've used a black hole reinforcement on that. And on the back, and I didn't do anything to the back side of that, but it's gonna go in here. At least I think that's what my intention was. I'm almost 100%. So we, I'm sure we'll end up putting more in here. And then on the back side here, the other tag that we did the exact same way with the foil, it's gonna go there. It's gonna go in that little tuck, right? Isn't that cute? So I'm gonna put this tag aside to be used later. And I'm gonna cut these out, but first, let me go ahead and back this. I needed to get another sheet because I don't think this will fit. No. So I needed to get another sheet of the notebook paper. It's perfectly vintage. And I'm gonna take it on the back side. And this is why I pulled out my fabric, my fabric tack because I didn't want the art glitter glue to show through this really thin vintage notebook paper um, and fiber tuck doesn't so I'm gonna, and it's cool because what I like about this notebook paper is 
is you can see through it so you can still see that really cool script under there even though it's I better just go up, go up a little bit <laughs> even though it's upside down because remember I told you I misprinted and you're still gonna be able to see it and I think that's so neat can you see it yeah you can see it so I'm gonna cut this out Before I trim that out, I'm going to let that dry a bit, but I'm going to trim these out really quick, and then I'll get back with you. Got both of these. Got this one. I even inked that one up already, and then I'm going to put this one aside for another page, and then that one's drying. So, let's take this piece, flip it over. There's the piece I used from before. I mean, I'm not going to throw this away. It's just not big enough. Well, I guess one more tag. I could do one more tag, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do one page for each fin. So I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna just go around the edges. I don't. You don't have to cover the whole tag. I like it kind of loose, especially with coffee stained paper. I like the the inside to be loose. It's just a weird thing I like. I'm gonna stick that on there, like that, and then. I'm going to stick this one right next to it, right next to it, yeah. And, you know, I was thinking, um, and I do this all the time, we always end up moving our inserts and tags around, so I'm sure we'll do that this time too. So don't get so hung up on, oh, well that doesn't, I don't know if I like that there. You can always move stuff around because uh, I do it all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to cut all the way up through because you might need something that's long like that. So I'm just gonna be careful. Whoa, now I'm cutting through both cardstock and paper. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. That's the same exact piece <laughs> as the other one. So. these two apart. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, I used this dark green on both sides of these large tags. Oops. You don't have to use these whole reinforcements at all because it actually has one. There's a very slight hoe reinforcement there, very light green one, actually. And then, what did I use on this one? I used a, yeah, I used, whoops, what's gotten stuck up? I used one of these that has the foil on it and then for this one I just used the black no foil I've got glue all over my finger all right so So now I just need to decide what pulls I want to have on these and then we'll be done with this video. Okay, I figured out what I was going to do, but I don't want to mention that I opened the black and white beggars try on the new one that I bought and it's thicker than what I had before. Much thicker. So that was weird. And it seems like it's whiter, like the black and white, the white part is just whiter where, I don't know, it just is like jumping out at me. So I did use both of these, the Blind White Baker's Twine and the Cording, and I put the Black and White Baker's Twine on the little insert that goes under here, under the flippity flip. And then I put the Natural Cording on the small tag, and then the Black and White on the tall tag. So that goes there, and that goes there, All right, and then in the back here, the black and white baker's twine on that. 
so there all right you guys that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I think we did a little bit of everything in this video and I hope it doesn't, I hope it, I hope it wasn't too long. Always remember there are time stamps below <laughs> in the description box. So, all right you guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so that you can be notified when I upload a video. And yeah, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.